what's up guys what's up welcome once again to another video thanks as always for tuning in and as all as always let me you know let you guys know appreciative i am you know for you to take time out of your busy schedule to tune into another video all right and guys um you know protocol let me remind you to please remember to sh like the video share the video you know subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell all right and guys um as usual please remember to comment you know comment and let us have a conversation and you know let us know what you think about the video all right so guys um i know probably some of you some of you guys may have heard of 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 this incident that happened over the weekend where 31 members of a white supremacist group by the name of patriot front were arrested near Idaho, a pride event that was being held there, right? So, um, <laughs> we all know what would have happened, or probably would have happened there if if they have they had gotten, you know, gotten to the to the to the um, the destination, you know, and. Um, <laughs> All I can say, it would have been a lot of mayhem, you know. Um, something like this was, I, I was pulled through. So the group was arrested with their um, alleged um, founder, whose name is Thomas Ryan, and, and he's only 31. Right? So just imagine, guys. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know where, where, you know, I'm not sure. Let me say this country. I'm not sure where this country is going with all this, um, you know, these, these eight groups, white supremacist groups that, is, you know, that think they can walk around and, 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 you know, commit all sort of atrocities around the country, you know? And if you guys would have remembered an incident that happened um a while ago where um I'm not even I'm not even remembering right now hundred percent what some people were demonstrating about something and they went there and they started beating people left, right and center. Men, women, whoever they caught. You know, it was and then there was this um the this this uh group again that was that 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 were demonstrating and they went there counter demonstrating and a bold bunch of riot that incident where mr trump said there were a lot of good people there on both sides yes that same one so their intentions would have been you know to go there and started a a, a riot so you know they would have been provoking people and stuff like that and then the riot would have broken out right so thanks to concerned citizens who saw them loading up on this um u-haul truck right and it was near an hotel, an hotel um you know and they called the police so let us i'm gonna read a little article you know so we could probably get some shed some more light on what you know what took place and i'm not sure if their intentions was given and it's on the on the on there or what but let me get into this article real quick guys so bear with me so there is some police rounding them up right there on the side of the road and they took them out of the truck okay so guys um Authorities arrested 31 members of a white supremacist group, Pratchett Front, near an Idaho Pride event Sunday after they were found packed into the back of a U-Haul truck with riot gear. The men were standing inside the truck wearing khakis, navy blue shirts, and beige hats with white balaclavas covering their faces when Cor de, de, de Alleyne police stopped the U-Haul and began arresting them on the side of the road. They came to riot downtown, the police chief Lee White said at a news conference. All 31 
were charged with conspiracy to riot, a misdemeanor, White said. The men were going through the booking process Sunday afternoon and are scheduled to be arraigned on Monday, he said. Based on evidence collected and documents, authorities found that the group was planning to riot in several areas of downtown, not just the park, White said. Police found riot gear, one smoke grenade, chin guards and shields inside, uh, inside the van, White said. There were arm patches and logos on their hats that identified them as members of Patriot Front, he said. Police learned about the UR from a tipster who reported that it looked like a little army was loading up into the vehicle as a park, at, in the parking lot of a hotel, White said. Officials spotted the truck soon after and pulled it over, he said. Videos of the arrest posted on social media showed the men kneeling on the grass with their hands zip-tied behind their backs. Reclaim America was written on the back of one shirt. Police led the men one by one to the front of patrol cars, took off their masks and then brought them to a police van. Those arrested came from at least 11 states. Hear that guys? 11 states. So I guess they're, you know, they're on the internet and all over recruiting people. Because I, 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 word on the street is that they, 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 they have to go through an application process, right? S included, including Washington, Oregon, Texas, Utah, Colorado, South Dakota, Illinois, Wyoming, Virginia, and Arkansas, White said. Only one was from Idaho, Idaho, he said. The truck was stopped near where the North Idaho Pride Alliance was holding the Corps de Aline Pride in the park event. Police had stepped up their presence in the area during the event. It appears they were these were people. It appears these people did not come here to engage in peaceful events. Kutinai County Sheriff Bob Norris told the, court, the, the Aline Press reporter, Patriot Pride is described by the Southern Poverty Law Center as white nationalist aid group. They formed after the deadly Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia in 2017. 2017, guys. So, um... I don't know how this thing works, but um there were they were um there was some incident with them as far as I can remember back then in two, I think it, it was about the, that time two thousand seventeen, right? Where there were there were some some there I think there were a um alliance with another group, right? But as I said, I don't know how these things work, but with something like this, shouldn't, you know, the FBI or Secret Service, whoever, the, whoever, the, 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 whoever they are, should have been keeping an eye out for these people, you know, to, to keep following them wherever they are, and maybe on the internet, recruiting other people and stuff like that. You know, tell me if I'm wrong, guys, because, but... Just like, I mean, these are called domestic terrorists, right? So uh, you would have thought, um, you know, they they should should have been on the radar from from two thousand and seventeen up till now, you know, following their every move, every, their every steps. You know what I mean? So these are whatever what what the the FBI and the Secret Service are, you know, whichever relevant authority, you know, should have been doing. Right, but obviously someone, you know, probably messed up or <laughs> I don't know if intentionally or not, but somebody messed up, definitely. Anyway, Patriot Front focuses on theatrical rhetoric and activism that can be easily distributed as propaganda for its chapters across the country. The Southern, the Southern Poverty Law Center said of the group, 
the group's manifesto calls for the formation of a white ethno ethno state in the United States, the Southern Poverty Law Center said. <laughs> so, guys, you know that's that's about it for the article, you know. But, um, guys, as I said, comment and let me let us have a conversation about this, and tell me if you if if I'm wrong. You know, if the relevant author, whichever of the relevant authorities, should shouldn't have been keeping a tab on them, right? Because they they said they have chapters in every state, right? So this is something that shouldn't have been missed, you know. And although there there are, there have been so many shootings, you know, for a while now, and almost every weekend you hear of how many different shootings and killings all over the country, and you know, I think the 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 authorities need to be keeping a better a better tab on stuff like this, right? To try and cut out some of these um, mass shootings and stuff like that. Because, I don't know, but I have a strong feeling that a lot of these killings are, are coming from these kind of groups. You know, and this, the, you know, these, these things need to stop some way, somehow, guys. Trust me. You know, but we'll see. Uh, this, these, this, for the, they're, they're arrested for this crime, or whatever they call it, but it's a misdemeanor. So, I mean... None of them will will be spending any long time in in no jail or anything like that. So back to the joint board they go, and we'll see what what comes up next in their name, All right, guys? So we'll be we'll definitely be look, looking and listening out for anything else coming up. Just remember the name. Just remember the game Patriot Front. Remember that name, guys. So we'll be keeping a watch out for them again. All right. So anyway, guys, thanks as always for tuning in. Please remember to like, share, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and comment. Let us know what you what you think. All right, guys. So blessed love, peace. So guys, these are some of the members. Even though I said my piece already, <laughs> but these are some of the members there that was arrested um you know i got this this off the internet so i know a lot of them probably was cut off in the picture so um but guys i'm gonna show you something else before i go again all right so just look at this okay guys this is what I wanted to show you guys. Now look at this. This is the this is the parade that they would have been going to to start that riot, right? And just look at them. Look at the crowd, right? Look at the crowd. Look at the amount of people there gathered there. Just imagine this mayhem that would have taken place if 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 they you know if whoever the the concerned citizen was didn't you know spot them and call the police just imagine what would have happened guys this would have been another historic moment or another historic day in america where i i am imagining that a lot of people probably would have lost their lives right because these guys even had grenades there in the in the truck so just imagine guys all of this was was you know would have taken place with these guys getting to this this um park and starting a riot wow so but you know thank god they didn't get there and you know i know they're they're they will be planning again for something else pretty soon trust me but and you know we we're just we just have to hope the the authorities the relevant authorities do a little better job now and of keeping a tab keeping tabs on them right guys so blessed love again guys peace